guys, it's Tina and I am back and I am here with another haul video. But these are not products that I paid for myself. I was lucky enough to be sent a lot of items for PR and I am so excited to share them with you guys because at the end of the day, while I would love to buy all these products and review them for you guys, I'm not able to do that. Especially since I'm putting myself on a low buy, I'm trying to taper and tame my buying habits. So I'm not able to buy as many products as you guys would like me to review and showcase on this channel. And luckily, thanks to you guys and our growing community, I am lucky enough to now be receiving products for PR from companies that I truly love myself and that I am truly interested in trying out because these companies have to reach out to me personally there's no manager it's me personally and there's no public PO box for you to just send me products I don't leave an address for you to ship me things so you have to reach out to me and get my shipping details for you to send me products so these are companies that I myself am truly interested in or companies that you guys have mentioned that you're interested in and that I just wanted to try out for you guys so it's not just random companies sending me things. I would never do that. I actually only accept products from companies that I truly am excited to test out myself. Enough of that blabbing. Let's get into the PR goodies because it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is this box here from Urban K. <laughs> Excuse you. This is their holiday 2016 collection, kind of the fall collection. It's released in the fall and they have brand new products that they're showcasing. So they have two lipstick palettes. They have the lipstick vice palettes. Now you may, yeah, you should know this by now, right? Urban Decay released a brand new lineup. I think it's a hundred shades of lipsticks. And they reformulated their lipsticks. They discontinued the other ones, which I loved, by the way. I have some of the other formula, like the older formula. Love that formula. But they redid their complete lipstick range, right? So they have now 100 shades. Some are still re-promoted shades. And they redid the formula. They added brand new shades. And they added some fun shades as well. And they lowered the price. Like, who does that? Who, who, who does that? Not many people do that. Now, the, the, the packaging, I will say, is a little cheaper. It feels a little bit more lightweight. So they're definitely cutting costs with the packaging. So they're saving some money there and they're transferring some of that cost saving onto us consumers. So we get the same product for a lower price, which is really good. It's always a good thing. And they're releasing two um, lipstick palettes, which they haven't done before. And I just love the new Urban Decay packaging this kind of shiny metal packaging. Now it does hold fingerprints. It's not exactly, it's not gonna be pristine. It doesn't stay that way, but I just love the packaging anyway. But they're releasing lipstick palettes and they have a little, and it says lipstick is my vice. Isn't that cute? And their mirrors, they've stepped up their mirror game. Now they're using like infinity mirrors where it's a full size mirror. And then you get, wait, 12 um, lipsticks in here. And these are more berry tones, purple shades. You have some fun shades in here and a bunch of neutrals as well. And that is trying to tell me, listen, miss, there is something else. There is a retractable lip brush included as well, which is great because you need a lip brush to actually use a lip palette. So that is always a great thing. And here are the 12 shades. As you can see, there are a bunch of neutral shades, some pinky tones, a lot of purples, and even a fun pop of green. So this is a fun palette. They have various different finishes in this palette. They have cream finishes, sheer finishes, glittery finishes, and their metallics. So I'm actually very excited because this way you can try out 12 different shades for the cost of a palette. I'm not quite sure how much these are going to be. And then you have this other palette, which this one is the more wearable palette of the two. This one, do they have different names? The fun one is the Junkie Lipstick Palette. So that's the one with the green shade. And then this more wearable one is the Black Male Lipstick Palette. This one has more red tones and a lot more neutral shades. And some of the shades do overlap in this. There are three shades that overlap in the palettes. The shades are 714, which is a matte bright red. You have Big Bang, which is a shimmery kind of metallic, glittery pink fuchsia shade. And then Firebird, which is that purpley duochrome fuchsia shade. It's pinky purple. It's a beautiful shade. That one is definitely a beautiful one. I have that one in the full size and I absolutely love it. 
again, this is a great way to try out 12 of their lipstick shades. And how often do you run out of a bullet of lipstick unless you really, really love that shade? You don't really run through a full bullet. So having a palette may actually be a really good way for you to try out a bunch of lipsticks without breaking the bank. And then they have the Naked Illuminated Trio, which is a trio with three highlight shades. One's a bronzy shade, one's more of a marbled shade, and one's a pinky peach. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with these because I want to do a full dedicated video to this box because I did post on Instagram, which you should be following me on Instagram because I do post these things and ask you your opinions on what I should post for you guys or what I should record for you guys. So do follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. It's just a fancy face. They sent me the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette, which a lot of people have been going crazy about. This is the next palette in their Naked collection. This is the fifth 12 shade eyeshadow palette in their Naked collection. They also have two other Naked Basics palette, but those are six shades, or was it five? Five or six shades in those, but these have 12, so this is an all neutral, all matte, almost all matte palette. It has one shimmery shade. And I did use this palette to achieve this look. I did use another eyeshadow and I even used one of their Moon Dust, the Liquid Moon Dust shadows, which I was, listen, I was gonna get these anyway. Like this was on my list. Like I didn't even think about the other ones. I was gonna get the Naked Ultra Basics, um, Ultimate Ultra Basics, Ultra Basics, Ultimate Basics palette. I was gonna get that for review, but I wasn't chasing it down because I have so many neutral palettes. But the Moon Dust Liquid shades, I was definitely gonna get. And I got all of the shades. They sent us all of the shades. I'm so excited for this. But like I said, I'm gonna do a complete dedicated video for these because I feel like that is the best way to showcase these um, different products. And they're worth a different video for them and they also are doing their Urban Decay Vintage Lipsticks. So they added vintage shades to the Vice lineup and these shades are from way back when, you know, yesteryear, back in the day, them of some of them shade there and some of them are metallic. I'm wearing one right now. The one that I am wearing is called what? I forget. It is Roach and they actually have an eyeshadow by the name of Roach. I don't know if that's discontinued or that's still in the collection but it's Roach and that's what I'm wearing now. It's a shimmery brown shade, which I was surprised that I actually really like this. So there will be a video for that. Urban Decay had also sent me 10 of the new Vice lipsticks and 10 of the lip liners. And these are the favorite shades from Wendy. So it's her top 10 picks. And I got these shades to try out for you. So I'm excited to try out some of these shades. Again, some of them are repo modes from the Gwen Stefani collection, some are repo modes from the original line. So I'm very excited to try these out. Sticking with lipsticks, Makeup Forever also redid their um, Artist Rouge lipsticks and they sent me a package with some of their lipsticks. Now Urban Decay and Makeup Forever are my top two favorite brands. If you ever want to ask me what are my favorite makeup brands or what is my favorite makeup brand, I don't have one, I have two. I have Urban Decay and Makeup Forever. Urban Decay came in in the, in the latter part of my, you know, of my beauty loving years because their um, brow products blew me away. I love their brow products. I love their eyeshadows. The shimmer shades, I think they make some of the best shimmer shades. It's a different formula and texture from Makeup Forever, so I still love my Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I think they're fantastic, but the shimmer shades from Urban Decay and then their Moon Dust shadows really blow me away too. So they're almost neck and neck now for my favorite brands. It came with this little video. Look. So that came with their package and I thought that was a really cute way to introduce the lipsticks and we received six of the lipsticks and they have a selection of nude shades, red and pink and berry and artistic shades and then they have it based on your skin tone. So light, medium, tan and dark, they have different options based on that which I think is a really good thing to do. So they have new Artist Rouge lipsticks and they sent us, like I said, a collection. We got six of the shades and they said if you can't decide then use C211, which is the perfect nude for all skin tones. So they did send us that shade as well. 
So C211 is a rosy nude shade. This actually reminds me of my favorite shade from them. There was one shade that I loved from the, the, the older line that is really beautiful. That's a pinky nude and it does look like it will go with the majority of skin tones. So I'm really excited about that. I hadn't mentioned this before. This is an older launch, but I did receive the Makeup Forever eyeliners. I've used a couple of them in some videos, so you've seen them on my channel, but I never did speak about them. We received the Aqua XL eye pencils, and I did do swatches of these. I recorded swatches, but I didn't do a full review of them because everybody was doing them, so I felt like my video was kind of null and void. But if you want to see swatches and a review video for these, let me know. They're a full lineup of their new Aqua XLs. They have cream shades, shimmery shades, matte shades. These are supposed to be waterproof and long wearing. They already had uh, aqua liners before that were waterproof and long wearing so they reformulated them so if you want me to showcase those let me know I also received a bunch of products from the Estee Edit which is the little sister brand of Estee Lauder it's the more hip more trendy spin-off of Estee Lauder and they invited me to an unveiling event where we went and checked out a bunch of their Metallic Shadows, which is a cream and powder duo, and I was so excited at this. Look at this blue. Can you even right now? I was so excited at this event, and I was hanging out with a bunch of really nice people, and I had such a great time. There's a pigment on the bottom that matches the cream shadow on top, and you can use them alone or together. I also got a bunch of their Edgiest Cold Pencils, which I was really excited to try out. I have their Radiance Activator and the Flash Illuminator. This is another video that I want to do separately because I have quite a few products. Some products that I've actually purchased myself as well that I want to include in a review and full swatch video dedicated to the Estee Edit. So that's coming up. Let me know if you guys are interested in that because if you're not, I'm not going to do it. But I think you are or you should be. They have some really nice products and they're a little bit more affordable than the Estee Lauder products, but they have illuminators, they have these shadow sticks that I really like, the metallic shadows I also like as well, and they have also bronzers, blushes, foundations. I didn't get a foundation. I might pick up a foundation just to try it for you guys, get my shade and try it out, but I'm really excited to test those out. I think that's going to be another good video. That's one that I plan to do because, you know, I want to do that video because it's kind of like a, a brand focus video because I wanted to do brand focus videos for a while, you know, but I didn't really have a lot of products from a single brand. Now I do have more products from a single brand that I could do a brand focus video on. So those two videos will be coming up. I also received 10 of the Always On Liquid Lipsticks from Smashbox and I'm really excited about these. I actually went ahead and got the shade Boss which wasn't sent to me, I actually purchased that myself because I saw it on someone else and I'm like oh my god that's such a pretty red. So I purchased that and I've been loving that red. I wore it on vacation, loved it and then they have this shade here, this dark brown in True Grit. This is so so pretty and I saw a girl in Macy she was one of the sales associates and she was wearing this she's very pale like porcelain pale skin and she was wearing this and it looks so good on her skin and I was like oh my god that's such a great vampy lip for the fall so I am excited to share these with you I've been really liking the formula it's a little bit moussey it's different but it's not uncomfortable and it doesn't feel dry and it doesn't flake which is a big problem for me with liquid lipsticks is flaking. These don't flake so I really like these so far. I'm going to do a swatch video for you guys with that along with the other lip videos for Urban Decay and Makeup Forever. I'm really interested in that. L'Oreal Paris also sent me this big old box and I was like oh, L'Oreal send me the things my retreatables I want to have. L'Oreal is actually releasing a new skincare line. So they have this skincare line and these are available in the drugstore. They have pure clay masks and they have three different ones. They have one that is, what does it say? Kaolinite. I don't know what that, oh it pronounced, but 
This one is the Detox and Brighten. So it has three pure clays and charcoal. Then you have this one is Exfoliate and Refine Pores, which is probably the one that would be best suited for me. This one has three pure clays and red algae. And it is, ooh. I am interested in this, like, mud masks at the drugstore from L'Oreal. I am excited to try these out. And then this one is Purify and Mattify. And this has pure, three pure clays plus eucalyptus. So this one is the green one. This one's probably good for me, too. Purify and Mattify of oily skin and then exfoliate and refine pores. These two, I think, are going to be very exciting for me. But I also like charcoal masks because they tighten my pores and make them feel really good. I am ex- wait, I didn't even, like I didn't even really look into this box, but now that I'm sharing it with you guys, I'm like, what? I'm excited. So I'm going to try these out. They also have brightening peel pads. Peels away dull, uneven tone, reveals brighter skin, reduces wrinkles. I want to say, I have a wrinkle that I need for us to remove them. I want to terrible so. It's Revitalift. For my old skin, my karma all. But I don't know where about it now. L'Oreal and I try to tell me some my old I'm a I am 33 by the way and I have, I must say this, I have pretty decent skin. I'm pretty happy with my skin and part of that has to do with being oily. I've always been oily so oily skin actually ages a lot better. So those of you who have oily skin, don't complain. Just go on, make it go on. And don't try to remove the oil or keep it from being oily. You want to get dry. You don't want to get dry. You stay oily, make all them do them thing because you got nice and glowy and you know, when you're 50, you're gonna look 30 and you're gonna be like, turn up. So, I embrace and appreciate my oily skin and I just have to blot a whole lot and I want to keep my skin oily. Like, <laughs> does that make sense? Some people, their skin changes with skincare, with hormones, and with age. I want to stay as oily for as long as possible because it met my youthful and melanin because black don't crack. I'm gonna notice. I'm gonna only get half of the melanin, but the melanin are gonna help me out. But it doesn't hurt to use anti aging products. This is the Revitalift Bright Reveal Brightening Dual Overnight Moisturizer. It exfoliates dull skin, visibly refines clarity and tone, and reduces wrinkles. And it's 4% glycolic acid. Okay, so it in exfoliates and infuses with vitamin C and pro-retinol and these should be good. I actually do like to use an exfoliating like an acid to exfoliate my skin at night. I don't use it all the time. I try to kind of limit it, but I do use it ever so often. Like I don't use things like this every night, which I don't think is actually good for your skin. Just based on how my skin is reacting, everyone's different, obviously, obvs, but I'm not a skincare expert. I'm not a dermatologist. Like I can't tell you what's good for your skin, but based on what's been working for my skin, I don't use products every night and I minimize the products that I use. So I don't like to layer on a ton of serums and this and that and that. Uh, no, I don't do that. So this one is the Revitalift Brightening Day Moisturizer. This has SPF 30, which is always good to have an SPF in your moisturizer. I always like to use an SPF in my moisturizer, but I don't like SPF by itself, which is why I tend to use like a spray SPF, like the, the Dr. Dennis Gross sheer mineral sun spray i like spray sunscreens because i can just apply that repeatedly throughout the day if i'm going out into the sun and i don't have to like rub something on so i really like that the other one that i've really been liking is the cover effects clear cover invisible sunscreen this is a good one for under your makeup so it's not a sunscreen like a white sunscreen on it but it feels like a primer so it's like a primer so i like using that i bought that myself but I'm interested to use this then if it visible brightens skins even visibly brightens skin evens tone and reduces wrinkles. What is the active ingredients? This also has glycolic acid, vitamin C, pro retinol, and a uh, SPF 30. So we're gonna I'm gonna try that one as well. I'm very interested. And then this one is a brightening daily scrub cleanser. It's a cleanser with glycolic acid and it gently exfoliates dullness and visibly re reveals radiance. Now, I wouldn't use this daily, even though it says daily scrub cleanser. I would use this a couple of times a week. The cleanser is 
The peel pads, which I wouldn't use very regularly, it's $19.99. Those have 10% glycolic complex. And then the moisturizer with the SPF is $19.99. And then the overnight moisturizer is also $19.99. And the masks are $12.99. That's not, that's not a bad price, especially for the mask, $12.99. And you do get... 1.7 ounces in this so these ones I'm really excited about in addition to the skincare products from L'Oreal I also received a ton of new products from them they sent me their La Palette lip palettes the cream matte highlighter lip palettes so like Urban Decay they're releasing lip palettes this one is the nude palette so it has various nude shades and a highlighter tone in there this is the, which one is this? Are they calling it the Plum Palette? This one has pinky shades and purples as well. And then this one is the Pink Palette, which has pink shades. So they have those lip palettes. They also sent us a mascara primer. This is the Voluminous Primer. It's in a white tube. This is really cute. Now, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is my favorite drugstore mascara of all time, hands down. So, I'm interested to try out a primer from them. So, good stuff. We'll try that out. And as they mentioned, they sent us the eyeshadow quads. So, I have the different eyeshadow quads. So, this is the nude. This is a nude one. This is called Burdor Charm. This one is French Biscuit. They have, ooh, a blue one, Avant Garde Azure. Yes. This one is Hot Hazel. So it's like Paris inspired because it is L'Oreal Paris. So exciting products from L'Oreal to try out. Now, Flower Beauty also reached out to me and said they wanted to send me some products. I said, you know what, go ahead because this is an affordable brand. It's Drew Barrymore that is um, collaborating with this brand to do these different products. And they sent me a few of their products to try out. I got the Erase Everything Ultimate Foundation Sheer Tint. What is this for? I hope this is a primer because if this is a foundation, why does it look white? Is it got me fast enough, me one or what is because it's a foundation. It says foundation, erase everything ultimate foundation, but it doesn't say primer and it's UF1, so it's the shade sheer tint. So this is a primer. This is like a silicone pore filling primer. I don't like how some of these things smell, especially drugstore products. They can have this very chemical makeup smell. I hope that fades, but it actually really blurred my skin here. Whoa, I'm interested in that one. Come on, Flower Beauty. Imagine if this is really great. It has dimethicone in it, so that's the second ingredient. So it should use alone for a fresh look or as a primer before your favorite flower makeup. Okay, and it gives a silky matte finish. So it is a primer, but they say foundation. That one might be a winner, guys. They have a mascara here that I'm going to try out. This one says Intense Black Black Block. <laughs> Intense Black lengthens, curls and thickens. What? I will probably claim that's enough flower, but I'm going to try that out. Then they also sent me an ultimate eye color. This is Crease Proof 24 Hour Wear. The shade is Share Charcoal. It's actually almost a luxury packaging for a not luxury price. That's good, like, this is this is what I would expect a high-end product to be packaged in. That's nice. They have a lip butter here. This is Ultimate Lip Butter in Plush Petal. And what I like about these, you see how they're in little sealed packaging. This is great for this, the drugstore. Even the little powder, the little cream product came in a little sealed packaging. Because in the drugstore, you know all people have opened them up and test them. And it's just a hot mess. You always get just products that are used or touched or there's somebody's fuzz in there and somebody mm -mm. and they also sent me this brush it's a high quality man-made hair so this one should be cruelty free then if it's man-made hair it feels very soft like the bristles feel very soft they don't yeah they feel that is nice and soft and the handle is a weighted handle this is nice like look at this this is something you'd expect from a high-end brand right nice i am interested flower 
Ooh, I can't wait to try these out actually. I'm very excited now. I, I wasn't too excited, but now I am because I didn't know that it was so luxurious. Keeping it drugstore, I got some products from Maybelline. So I've been actually accepting more drugstore products because I wanted to get some products to test out for you guys. And from Maybelline, I got the Blur and Illuminate 200 Broad Spectrum 30 Primer. This is from their Face Studio line. So let's see. Oh, it's sealed. Is it a silicone type primer? It does have a slight pinky glow to it, so it does illuminate. And then they also sent me a, their strobing sticks. So they sent me the shade 200, 100. So these are strobing sticks, which are just twist up illuminators, I'm sure. This one is a, whoa, a shimmery silvery pink. That's 100, it's light clear. That's obviously not for me. And then the other one is medium nude glow. This is light and this is medium. Maybe the medium might work for me, but definitely not the light because no, that's too shimmery. And then they also sent me their master contour sticks. This is the V-shape duo stick contour and highlight. Oh, it is a duo. So it has a highlight on one side and then the contour on one side. Now, I don't know if you can, how you will concentrate that because they look like they might want to mix. So this is the shade medium. Yeah, medium definitely not show up on me. They feel very greasy though. So I am worried about that for my oily skin. That's the highlight shade for the dark, which seems very light. And then that's the contour shade that might work so if you're my skin tone definitely go for the deep I don't know they feel a little moist you can see a little shade in there but I don't know how great these are gonna be and then from Clarisonic I did mention this in my travel video they did send me a Clarisonic Mia fit which I love and it was really great for travel can you imagine if that went off in my suitcase and they're like, what's that sound? You imagine? But I did really like this for travel. So good stuff. I really like this. And they sent, um, that's what I kept the box for. They sent a long comb. Um, what is this? A clarifying cream to foam cleanser for normal and combination skin. So this is what I kept it for. I really, really the box for. I want to try this out with it. It's from Lancome, so that should be good. And they, of course, sent an extra head with it. Another brand that I really enjoy, Becca, and I'm so excited to receive stuff from Becca, like Becca. Becca sent me the Luminous Blush Collection. And again, I did do swatches of these. If you want me to do a video, a full video review, let me know, but these are their Luminous Blushes. So these are blushes with shimmer in them. And I do like their mineral blushes. Like they're one of my favorite blush formulas. They're pigmented, they apply really nicely. And they're a little bit pricey, so these are luminous blushes, so they have a bit of shimmer to them. And they're going to have some sheen. A couple of the shades are a little bit too light for my skin tone. Like they come off a little bit too silvery because of those um, of the shimmer in it. So you can see the silvery sheen on my skin. So if you want to see a swatch video on darker skin, let me know. That's for the Becca Luminous Blushes. I also got some products from Elizabeth Arden. Now they reached out to me and I'm like, Elizabeth Arden, nobody talks about you guys. What is going on? But they sent me some lipsticks and their mascaras. And I'm going to try these out. It's more of a luxury brand. They are available at Ulta. And they, I mean, look at the packaging. This is the lipstick packaging. This shade is marigold. And I mean, look at this. And if they want to take a shot at the market these days with the younger crowd, go for it. But this is some sexy packaging and they sent me mascara. So they sent me lipstick and mascara. So I'm gonna try these out, probably use them in a video, see how I feel about them. If they're worth talking about, I'll definitely talk about them. Strivectin also sent me some skincare products and Strivectin is really top notch with their skincare products, anti-aging especially and SPF. So they sent me a tightening net cream, <laughs> which, I'm, yeah, apparently I'm getting old, but people don't really focus on their necks. They focus on their skin, their facial skin, and don't realize that the neck is aging as well and does need to have some moisture happening down there to, you know, anti-age that because your age can show in your neck quick, your hands and your neck. So this is good. This is a lifting complex. It visibly tightens, lifts, and firms the look of neck and profile. I'm going to try that out because the neck... 
and then they have an overnight resurfacing, resurfacing concentrate. This I actually have in my bathroom right now. It's a liquidy um, product that you use on your skin to resurface it overnight. So I'm interested in that. And then they have a tightening neck serum roller. So this might be a little bit easier to roll my neck cream on to, to get rid of my, you know, my wrinkly stuff. And then this one is a Repair and Protect Moisturizer SPF 30. Again, I like to use a um, SPF under my foundation, but I'll have to check this out to see if it makes me oily or greasy. We will try this guy out. Super Goop also reached out and sent me a little cute package of two of their sunscreens. This is the Mineral Sunscreen with Olive Propyl Polyphenols. Polyphenols. And then this one is the Everyday Sunscreen with Cellular Response Technology. This is SPF 50 and they're oil free. And so I'm going to try those out. Summer is coming to an end. I'm not really out in the sun like that anymore, but we're going to try those out anyway. And then keeping with the anti-aging business because I am getting old apparently. This one is the Tria Age Define Laser. And I'm going to try this out and see how this works. This is something that I would not have tried out myself, but they reached out to me and offered to send me this and I am going to try it out. I will be honest with you, I pulled it out and I, you know, I turned it on and put it on my skin and I think it was on the highest level or the highest energy level and it zapped the hell out of me. Like, <laughs> it stung and I was like, oh shit, what the hell is going on? And it left like little dots, like a little, because I think it comes out in little, um, little concentrated spots and it left little scabs on my skin so I am very nervous about this I'll be very honest with you but I will try it out on a very low level like the lowest level and then see how it works it's supposed to help to minimize the age the signs of aging and I think it's supposed to stimulate um, collagen and help you to you know get plumper skin and it's in lilac which is really pretty it's a really pretty little laser, but again, it makes me very nervous because of how it attacked me. Like, it felt like a sting. It literally felt like it stung me, but this is what it looks like, right? And then the little laser is right here. So I turned it on, and that's where I should have left it. And then you're supposed to put it on your skin. I'm going to read the instructions, but I'm so nervous about it. You have no idea. So I put it on the third one, and that's when it stung me, so... And then you turn it over like that. So we're going to try this guy out. Wish me luck. Hopefully it doesn't kill me because I'm very nervous. Very nervous. It Cosmetics also sent me a few of their travel products. So these are their regular products that are in travel sizes. So I have a travel size mascara, the travel size CC cream, the travel size Bye Bye Under Eye, and their travel size Confidence in a Cream, which... I love their mascara. The CC cream doesn't really suit my skin tone really, but the Bye Bye Under Eye is a nice concealer. And I I like some of these products. So I'm definitely, oh, they have the universal brow powder in a sample, in a little travel size. That is really cute. But the thing that I'm really excited for from them is the um, Superhero Eyeshadow Palette. They sent me this. And this looks different from their other eyeshadow palettes, which... I like, but I don't love. They're neutral palettes, they're simple palettes, but for me, they don't pack enough of a punch for me to really love them. They're very subtle. So if you're a beginner, if you're into very subtle looks, if you don't want anything too crazy and you do want products with collagen and like um, really great skin ingredients, then that's a good palette to check out. But don't expect anything to wow you. I was never wowed with them. It's just, eh, it's okay and they're decent products. But this eyeshadow palette looks a little bit different. These highlight shades though, this one here, they have the, their larger highlight shades. To They're called primer shades, but that one is like a highlighty shade. It's really pretty. So I'm going to try this out because I find that their superhero products tend to be really nice. So I'm going to try this out. I'm excited for that. And then this guy here, this is the first time I actually reached out to a brand. Hourglass has sent me something before, but so I had a contact in PR, but 
people were asking me to review the Vanish foundation and I wasn't sent them for PR or anything so I reached out I said hey my shade because I went in store and checked out my shade and I'm like okay my shade is this I think that's my shade so I was wondering if I could sample the foundation if you could send me a sample and they did they sent me two shades actually the shade that I got was gold and amber for my skin tone which matches me perfectly and I got the shade gold and amber and then they sent me another shade the shade up from that and they also sent me the brush and that's the shade golden ember and it actually blends in really good with my skin and they sent me the brush so i'm gonna be checking reviewing this for you guys because i thought that was really nice of them to acknowledge that hey yeah let's send you that you know you asked for it nicely and they sent me like really quickly so i'm really excited to try that out and let you guys know how i feel about it and Spoiler alert, I kind of actually really like it. Even though I have oily skin, it doesn't really get greasy on my skin and it blends in really nicely. And I was surprised by it, but we'll talk about that more in a review video that's coming up. But those are all the products that I got, guys. I am really excited to try these out. And let me know how you feel about PR hauls and sponsored videos and that kind of jazz because I do still want to share products with you guys that I won't necessarily purchase myself, but I do get from brands that have reached out to me that I have accepted products from. So it's not just random brands, again, it's brands that I've accepted products from that I do believe in myself. So Urban Decay, Becca, Hourglass, Makeup Forever, um, Super Goop is actually a really good one that I believe in and I like products from them. So I definitely do want to try out their products and share those with you guys. So let me know what you guys think. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.